reconciliation. Amen. You may be seated. The ministry of reconciliation. Amen. There's a remix beyond your reminder. The ministry of reconciliation. There is a remix beyond your reminder. Second Corinthians is a book of Paul's personal testimony. It's a book of Christian ministry and, and admonitions. It's a book of charity work, a book of Paul's defense of even his own calling. Second Corinthians was written in Philippi around 60 AD. The author and the agenda was Paul, but he wrote the, the book of Second Corinthians to comfort those who had repented and changed their hearts. Amen. He wanted to comfort those who had repented and changed their hearts. Statistics. Second Corinthians is the 47th book of the Bible, 13 chapters, 327 verses, 6,092 words, 29 questions, 4 Old Testament prophecies, 4 New Testament prophecies, 249 verses of history, 4 verses of unfulfilled prophecy, and then 4 verses of fulfilled prophecy. Here the text we see. That we are encouraged in the aftermath of our previous existence and lifestyles. We are encouraged that even if the skeletons in our closets were resurrected and given voice, we remain encouraged that still it would be a no never mind in the eye of God. Verse 17, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Well, well. We see through Christ. Jesus and the Holy Writ that eventually in Christ Jesus we morph, we mature, we change and evolve. Old things are passed away. Here in the text there's a weapon of spiritual warfare for the wicked who wish to rap about the wrongs of the songs that we no longer even sing. Preacher. Roll call. They rap about rocks and blues. Three, four, dub. I remember when you used to smoke dope. I remember when you smoked Crack, they rap about two for one father and son specials where everything is wholesale at the hotel. Amen. I don't know if you hear me, no, but they rap about where you used to go and what you used to do. I remember when you were hoeing and blowing, but now you say you're clean and you fancy, huh? Yeah. Mr. Man, you know, missed out on Mr. Green James and missed out on Captain Kangaroo. You missed out on Sesame Street and the Electric Company. You missed out. Mickey Mouse Club and Leave It to Beaver, you've missed out on all kinds of things, ages and pages later, and now you return long ago after yesterdays and yesterdays, and now you say you're saved and you found the Lord and you want me to call your daddy and pop the chula. Oh, you fancy, huh? <laughs> Still rolling. Preacher! Been the perpetrator and the antagonist of home invasions that have cost lives and then hip replacements on pavements and park sides. Banging and beating them down in Compton and in Cleveland. Banging and beating them down in Brooklyn and the Bronx. Banging and beating them down in Jersey and Jacksonville, Mensis and Massachusetts, North Carolina and all through the dirty South. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Pretending, punishing, and predating. But now I found religion and I'm fancy, huh? And so it is, so it is. We see that often and quickly we are reminded of our worldly wrecks. As opposed to people around us making mention of your timely transitions Come on. and the trajectories of your transformation. All right, all right, all right. People are quick to remember what God has forgotten and tossed into a sea of forgetfulness. Yes, sir. Come on, come on. Who needs enemies with friends like you? Often majoring in minors, mess as opposed to ministry. If any man be in Christ, be it Jamil or Jamal, uh -huh. Keisha or Candace, Lisa or Lamont, be it any man in Christ, he is a new creation. That's right. The opposite parenthetically being new and in Christ. Ex-wheeler and ex-dealer, ex-thug and ex-thief, ex-fiend and ex-freak. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things are passed on. Behold, here in the text there is a divine disclaimer. If a person chooses Christ, they are no longer confined in the corridors in the playing fields of their past. Oh, that's gone. Old things are passed away. In this life, 
Billy Holiday calls it strange fruit and bittersweet. In this life of shattered dreams and broken promises, in this life of alienation and isolation, and isolation and alienation, in this life, secrets shared often become either scandal or scrutiny. Confession becomes chaos and criticism. Disclosure becomes a dirty diary, especially in the ecclesiastical and ecumenical community. Yes, in this life, my footprints may have told you where I've gone and where I've been, but they could not have told you where I'm going. For faith has fortified my future. Yes, sir. I don't feel no waste time. I've come too far from where I started from. All right, Doc. All right. He brought me this far to leave me. When life has you lingering in your lament, yeah. <laughs> killing you softly. Well, that's right. Come on. Let your soul be ripened with a ready response. Come on, boy. For God prepares a table for me, that's what you tell me, in the presence uh -huh. of my enemies. That's right. yeah. Isn't it? And ain't it strong? Yeah. Uh -huh. Get cut when you're looking for compassion. Uh -huh. Lynched when you're looking for love, well, interrogated when you're looking for encouragement, come on. and combat when you're looking for comfort. Who needs enemies, I say again, with friends like you? Yes, sir. How many of us have gone to the church and been wounded in that same yeah. temple? Yeah. Things that make you go, hmm. Yeah. People keep score. God keeps you close. And so it is, I say to us all, Lottie, Dottie, and everybody. People of hard times and scars. Riders of the storm and salt of the earth. So it is, I say to us, in this land of Kool-Aid and hand-me-downs, how do you sing the Lord's song in this strange land, cornbread and pig feet? Us, who played many parts in our pilgrimage in this thing called life. Be encouraged in your living for trial will become testimonies and setbacks eventually become setups and and and, and 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 your mess becomes your message. Pick up your mat and walk and say to yourself, feet don't fail me now. I'm crossing over to the other side in Christ Jesus. Let the naysayers say what they will. God is not finished with me yet. Come on. Gets greater later. Come on. Let the naysayers say what they will. Right. Sideline spectators uh -huh. and haters on the horizon. If any man, the word of God says, be in Christ. He is a new creation. Let the naysayers say what they will. Yes, Tell them that God has picked me up and turned me around and placed my feet on solid ground. Who is this king of glory? Tell them that God has been for me a bridge over troubled waters and I've cried my last tear on yesterday. Let the naysayers say what they will. Tell them the Lord touched my tongue and I just don't say the things that I used to say. The Lord has touched my heart and I don't feel about things the way I used to feel. There's a remix beyond your reminding. The story is not over yet. You just stop reading. Eyes have not seen and ears have not heard. Once upon a time, it is true. Preach up. Order in according. All right, boy. Let the Lord All right. Amen. Once upon a time, Donnell, Reverend Carruthers, he, he sat on a ball on the wall, and once upon a time, Pastor Carruthers, he had a great fall. And once upon a time, all the king's horses, critics and counselors, therapists in Tinley Park, Dogma in the DOC. Yes, it is true that all the king's horses and all the king's men could not put Darnell back together again. But God. Friends and family just knew it. But God. Jesus rides lame horses and carves masterpieces out of rotten wood. Come on. Sitting high and looking low uh -huh. beyond our faults and dead at our needs. 
but God. But God. Great is our faith. Yes, sir. Oh, 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 oh. People yes, sir. of God. Come on, Pastor. Tell those naysayers. 